Yeah, folks. Happy Friday. What's it going today? I thought it appropriate to wear my steel pot army helmet in homage to the troops. Even though I was never in the service, I still respect the hell out of our troops and military. And it's also significant because the Democrats have declared war on American citizens. Make no mistake about that. Be crystal clear and get that through your head. Get it through your mind. You know, get your shoulders back, your chest out. Gather your thoughts and take notes on this. Because they're not playing games. They want power back so bad so that they can rule over us like you wouldn't believe. They almost want revenge because we having dared having the temerity to vote for President Trump. That's what they want. And don't stop at nothing to get it. I mean, first of all, they want to take away all your guns. They, they, they want to eliminate the Second Amendment. They say they want assault weapons. Well, that's a stupid phrase. Assault is just an action. You know, I can go out there and kill somebody with a claw hammer. You're going to have comprehensive tool control. Is that, is that what's next? You can kill somebody with a screwdriver. You're going to have screwdriver control. Why is it when there's a drunk driver that kills somebody with his car? Because he chose to commit a crime and they get in a car drunk and he kills somebody. Well, they don't call for a comprehensive car control and they want to ban all cars all of a sudden. No one's allowed to drive anymore because one guy chose to do something stupid. They want to take away your Second Amendment rights. They, they want all your guns gone. They want, they want this country disarmed. Make no mistake about it. They want us disarmed. It's just like every other dictator. They've always, always thought it's easier to slaughter people when they're unarmed and helpless. And they know that. They know that big time, man. And, well, it's plain and simple. The good news is is that I believe personally that if the government did go Democrat and it went rogue, most law enforcement and people uh, like Homeland Security, FBI, and all that would not friggin' fall in line with them. They'd rip their friggin' uniform off, throw it on the ground, and say, oh, I'm gonna stand with the people. I'm not going along with this. They got family in these communities too, and friends, so they're not gonna go along with it. I got family that's law enforcement. And they're completely on my side. <sighs> so what else we got? We got a. Uh, we got this Antifa that, that has been encouraged and emboldened, and the left embraces them to violently attack somebody, which is another reason why they've declared war on us. Because of who I support for president, because you have a different political view, because you disagree. Do you think you have the right to go with these Antifa lunatics running around with these metal batons attacking people, clubbing the shit out of people? Are you kidding me? Dude, you're poking at a sleeping giant is what you're doing. And it's not going to turn out good for you when that sleeping giant's finally had enough. Wow. Ugh, excuse me. There's going to come a time where... The vast majority of Americans have had enough of you assholes, and enough's enough. I'd hate to have that to happen, because in the end, there are a bunch of college-aged, snowflake, transgender-confused lunatics that don't even really know why they're pro doing what they're doing or protesting. Five years from now, they're going to look back. Hopefully, some of them will have the good sense to look back and realize, what the hell was I doing that for, man? Man, I was out of my mind back then. But they don't understand that now. And if they keep the shit up, it'll be too late. Hmm. What else did I have in mind? Yeah, no right attacking for anybody that you support for president. You, you, you have no right doing it. This is America. We got the right to disagree! For Christ's sake! And these little bastards don't understand it. And you want to give violent? I would never in my life attack somebody that had a Bernie Sanders t-shirt or a Hillary Clinton hat on or anything like that. I mean, I bet stuff would give you my opinion why I disagree with that. But I would never, ever physically attack anyone because you support that candidate. I mean, it's your right to support that candidate as much as you want. 
That's what America's all about. These, these Democrats who call themselves Democrats now, they're not like Democrats like from JFK's era. Hell, not even from Bill Clinton's era. When they really were like for the blue collar type Democrats, old school blue collar Democrats. Nope. They're all left wing progressives. Communism is taking over our country and it has to be stopped. It has to be stopped at this point. If they want to keep pushing it, I made a video a while back. And what are they going to do when they have like 10 to 15 million, million in the millions of heavily armed, angry, patriotic, freedom-loving Americans that are going to descend on Washington? You don't have to worry about the White House because my man Trump is in there. He's on our side. <laughs> but the Capitol building, when they're all having their bullshit freaking anti-gun rulings and meetings in there, well, we surround that building. And you won't have enough cops. You won't have enough law enforcement. They could say, oh, well, we have superior... You'd be afraid to lose the battle. Your little Walmart AR-15s not going to do nothing against drones. Really? Because we left Afghanistan 10 years ago, right? Just saying... That superior technology and superior military force doesn't always guarantee you're going to win. I mean, we've been there for 19 years. 19 years, and we're still there. The Taliban is still there. I'm sure there's Al-Qaeda and even some factions of ISIS that are still there. All right? That just proves a bunch of robed lunatics wearing sandals and bed sheets, and they got some rifles and RPGs, and still they're there. Why have we not destroyed them yet? With our drones and tanks and all the superior firepower. This just means because they're using guerrilla warfare. Which means you work within a population. And you hit the enemy at weak points. And then you blend back into the population. Because you're not, you don't belong to no military. You don't belong to no army. You're not a bunch of guys wearing official uniforms to be spotted easily. That's all I'm saying. That's what they do. It just looks like some guy walking down the street who's going to a bunch of markets and shit, and all of a sudden he pulls out an AK-47 and attacks our troops. Well, that's why having superior... So what incentive do I have to give up my firearms <clears throat> and my little bitty worthless Walmart AR-15? If it's such a weapon of mass destruction, then why should I give it up if I have no chance against the U.S. Uh, government and their drones and their tanks? It doesn't make any sense. That's how you know they're full of shit, too. All right, I don't want to go on too long. I'm going on over eight minutes now. I just want to make this video. Uh, the, the, this is war. They've declared war on us. Don't The elite, the, all the elites, they hate us. And they hate the fact that we're free. They hate the fact that we're armed. They hate the fact that we can make decisions for ourselves. And we don't want the government, we don't need the government to be meddling in our lives. They can't stand that. They want total control over everything. That's what the video is really all about. They want to control your health. They want to control your education. They, they want you disarmed and helpless to be a slave. A slave. That's what they really want. They want control. When they say gun control, they mean really life control in the end. All right, that's about it. You guys get the point that this is serious. If a Democrat ever wins the presidency and the Democrats have control again, we are all in serious, serious trouble. Make no mistake. All right, that's going to be it for the night. Just wanted to make this video outlining that, not to scare anybody, but it is the reality. That's where we're heading now in America. Sad but true. All right. Take care. Have a great weekend. God bless y'all, and I love y'all. Be safe out there. Oh, P.S. Buy more guns, and then buy another one. And lots of ammunition. You're going to need it. Bye.